What's up guys, Boy Cuddy, and today we're going to be doing the top upcoming first person shooters of 2017. Coming in at number 10 is Battalion 1944. Battalion 1944 is an upcoming video game based on World War II from a development team composed of former AAA developers, Bulkhead Interactive. Developers are hoping that Battalion 1944 will recapture the enjoyment spent from some of the classic multiplayer shooters such as Call of Duty 2 and Medal of Honor. After a successful Kickstarter campaign, Bulkhead Interactive has been working on a release that will allow players to fight in a real world locations, such as the streets of Karatan or the forest of Bastogne. Coming in at number 9 is Strafe. During the 1990s, first person shooters were big with releases such as Doom and Quake, and now we have a video game that will be attempting to bring homage to those early video game releases. Strafe is a video game currently being developed by Pixel Titans and it's full of non-stop action. Strafe puts players into the shoes of a common scrapper, a person set to scrap recyclable materials. You receive a job that will put you into the edges of a space where communications are unable to reach. As you board your job site, the spacecraft Icarus, you find that something on board has gone wrong. This is a fast paced first person shooter with slew of weapons, endlessly random generated levels, enemies, power ups and secrets. Coming in at number 8 is Destiny 2. Destiny was met with a positive reception from critics and fans alike, and now we are gearing closer to its official sequel release. With the sequel release, it will be interesting to see if characters from the past and the original Destiny installment will carry over. Likewise, perhaps we'll find more lore, explore bigger open world environments along with new multiplayer modes and weapons. As of right now, the release date is to be announced, but it is, it is known that for 2017 it will be coming out. Right now the platforms are also unknown, but we are hoping to see it on the PC platform as well as consoles, Xbox, and Playstation. Fans of a tactical first person shooter video games may want to take notice in the upcoming New World Interactive release, Insurgency Sandstorm. This is an upcoming video game that is a remake of Insurgency, a title that originally released for the PC back in 2014. There's plenty of co-op team game modes that released originally for Insurgency and being a tactical shooter strategy and working together is a must to survive. Unfortunately, the video game doesn't have an exact release date attached quite yet, other than a launch set in 2017. Coming in at number 6 is Prey. At this point, not too much is known about Prey. Originally, the video game was first set to be a sequel to Prey, which had been released back in 2006. However, after the game's rights were passed around and ultimately cancelled, the video game would be picked up and reimagined for the first Prey installment by development team Arcane Studios. From what has been revealed so far, Prey will take place during an alternate United States timeline. President John F. Kennedy has survived his assassination attempt, and as a result, Kennedy continued to push into funding into the space program. The start of the campaign will be taking place on Talos 1 a space station that has been built during Kennedy's term and continues to flourish in the year 2032. You're not going to like what I have to say next. Coming in at number 5 is Quake Champion. Quake Champions was first introduced to the world during E3 2016, and from that debut trailer, it seems that ID Software is looking to bring their own spin to the hero-type first-person shooter genre. For the most part, there seems to be a wide range of characters with their own unique abilities and skills. Though we'll have to wait and see just how well Quake Champions compares to video game titles such as Overwatch, there is already an interest in the title from gamers as this will be the first main entry to the Quake series since 2005's release of Quake 4. While Quake Champions has been confirmed for release on the PC, developers have announced that they are not ruling out the release for console platforms. Coming in at number 4 is Space Hulk Deathwing. Technically, Space Hulk Deathwing was available for gamers in 2016, but only on PC platform, while a console release will not be available until sometime in 2017. This upcoming video game by developers Strawman Studio and Cyanide will be based on the Warhammer 40,000 universe, though more specifically, this is a video game based off a board game known as Space Hulk. Within Space Hulk Deathwing, players take the role of a space marine who will head out and face off against threats in Space Hulk. These Space Hulks are made of mangled asteroids, shipwrecks, and other debris that end up along the currents of the warp. These locations are said to hold treasures and ancient lost technologies, 
but they are also often flooded with enemy forces leaving up to a special division of space marines to help clear out and retrieve the loot inside. Coming in number 3 is Get Even. Get Even's story by development studio The Farm 51 is still relatively unknown, but at the same time the first person shooter is said to have inspiration from the Silent Hill and the Matrix franchises, so we can likely expect a personal and well in depth narrative. Overall players take control of protagonists who take on investigations from high profile individuals and even the government, but this latest job seems to have a protagonist questioning his own reality. Coming in at number 2 is Pamela. Pamela is a video game currently in development by NVYVE Studios. This particular title is set in a fictional utopian city known as Eden. In this world, mankind strives to become a nation of perfection, though this goal really has come at the cost of people living within Eden. Players awake from a cry of sleep in Eden to only find that the world has been infested by a bug that has disfigured most of the individuals causing them to act unpredictable and at times hostile. This is an open world video game where players will have to figure out the story as they explore, gather resources and adapt to the full day and night cycle that is presented within the game. Coming in at number 1 is Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. If you enjoyed the past Sniper installments, then you'll find that third installment Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 will look and play better than ever. Developers are really trying to push a AAA video game with their third installment. Players will take on the role of a retired American Marine named Jonathan North. The nation is in shambles, with the Cold War closing in along with a proxy war and a civil war taking place in Georgia. In the video game narrative, players will be heading out to Georgia to take out its intruder, though it seems that our protagonist shares a dark past with this unknown individual. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, if you did make sure you hit that subscribe button, come check me out on my channel, I got lots more videos including how to's, tips, tricks, cheats, all the good stuff for all the games to help you guys make your way through your video game and get to the end. For now, I'm Kid Cuddy and I'm out, peace.